Hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys my hive setup this year. I'm doing eight frame mediums and doing foundationless. I've built these foundationless frames using wedge top uh, and breaking off that top piece and putting it perpendicular. It creates a nice little edge for the bees to start their comb on. Um, in addition, I'm doing a little experiment because I want to see what the bees go for first. So I've done a starter strip of foundation, and then I've also done, you know, what more most beekeepers do is they use this foundation. I don't want to use this, and it doesn't allow the bees to draw the natural size comb that they'd like to. I also have this table, this awesome plastic table. It's like a just a plastic pallet. I've drilled small holes for drainage. Uh, this is also a south-facing position here under the tree. So in the winter, it'll get that southern-facing sun. And in the summer, it's underneath this apricot and walnut tree. So it's a really awesome spot. I'm excited to install the bees today. Hey guys, just want to add a little note in here before we watch me install the package. Just remember, I am a beginning beekeeper and this is the first package that I ever installed. So of course I made a few mistakes and oh my gosh, if you've ever been around bees or installed a bee package, your heart is pumping like you would not believe. It's such an exhilarating experience um, and just being around thousands of bees is a uh, it's a little frightening at first too because you know as we've grown up we were always like ah stay away from the bee you don't get stung by the bee so we kind of you know have that in our head and um like you know, the buzzing sound and you know it's really an, it's really an intense process um so you know if you ever install bees for your first time uh, i'll be really excited for you to experience that and uh, you'll know what i'm talking about so yeah take everything i'm saying with a grain of salt you know don't take this as much as a instructional as much as um, an introduction to the ideas of beekeeping um, a possible setup for a beehive and you know just remember there is just an infinite amount of ways to set up a beehive now I'm doing foundationless. There's other types of beehives like a top bar hive. That is probably the most popular foundationless hive. Um, there's just, man, you could, there's, there's so many opinions and ideas about beekeeping. It's just endless. You could dedicate your whole life just to this one skill. Uh, so this is just something I'm having fun with and um, I hope that it uh, gets you guys interested and lets you know that, you know, it's not as hard as you would think. So if you are interested in getting into beekeeping, I would actually recommend getting some help from your local beekeeper and actually hiring them to help you install your first hive. I think my beekeeper charges like a hundred or hundred fifty dollars and he comes out for two hours, helps you install the hive, teaches you everything about the bees, how to take care of them, when you should harvest for your season. Um, there's so much about seasonality and microclimates with bees because of their dependence on nectar and rainfall and temperatures and all these different factors that come into play and it alters how you would set up your hive. Somewhere to start for beekeeping where I, my favorite guy that I've found so far is named Michael Bush. Um, and he's got a website called, forgetting the name, Practical Beekeeping, something like that. Anyways, he's like, he's one of the pioneers, I'd say, in the last few decades with natural beekeeping um, and raising them in Langstroth hives and top bar hives. This guy's done it and experimented with it all. Um, and then the other way for a natural hive would be to bring in a wild hive, which is a whole other thing. So using the native bees um, to gather honey. And um, that's a whole other world I'd like to explore as well. Possibly next season, I'd love to try and capture a wild hive that's looking for a new place. You know, whenever you see the, a big ball of bees, what's happening is they're balling up around the queen um, and scouts are going out there looking for a suitable location that they can set up their brand new hive. When that happens, you can actually take that ball, put it into your box, and they will habitate that box. And one of my great farmer friends, Jared, uh, he's successfully done this, I think, three times now. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping next season, maybe we could go together and he could help me to, to capture my first swarm. And um, yeah, and we'll see how that goes next year. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the next part of the video because it's so fun. This is the Bee Bus uh, Bee Package here. And it comes in this plastic case. It's a little different. I hadn't seen it online before, but this is what my master beekeeper gave me. And so you pull these tabs up and 
then you slide it forward. And now the bees are going to start coming out, so I need to get my queen. And I actually have to take the sponge out first because it's blocking her. We'll just set them down nicely. Let's get our queen out. Cover it up here. Want to make sure there's a nice ball of bees on the queen. And I need to take the cork out so that the bees can get to the candied in. Trying to be careful. Oh, I should show you the queen. Queen is in there. I need to get this cork out. Okay, the cork is out. The inside is uh, has some sugar candy for them. I'm gonna poke a, poke into it a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way. So give them a little head start. Okay, now let's put her in. She's got some bees on there. Let's attach her. All right, she's in. I'm just gonna dump some bees on her. And now we're going to take the cover off and put our top cover on. All right, feeders installed. We'll just leave these guys here on the sponge figure it out and we're gonna cover them up and that's it I've covered the entrance hole and we're gonna trap them in here overnight and then in the morning time I'll release them hopefully they have a good nice sleep and we'll see them tomorrow so we're back the next day uh, we trapped our bees inside overnight uh, now we're going to release them um, they're still pretty relaxed in there they haven't started they, a lot of them haven't really exited the box um, so I hope they're gonna be okay but I think they're just gonna start waking up and getting more active throughout the day the activity on the queen cage is awesome they're all oops, surrounded her and they've even started it looks like they started building some comb here on this second frame it's hard to see but I'll show it later once they've done some more work all right, it's now about 24 hours since I installed the bees and <clears throat> released them this morning. And uh, they've been entering and exiting the hole all day long. Um, they're looking very good. All right, got my smoker going. And we're gonna go check out the hive. It's doing much, much better. This is uh, bee inspection day nine, I believe. And we're taking the first peek at all the frames and how they're building uh, the comb all by themselves. Wow. This one looks pretty good too. Wow. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is pretty darn straight. They're working pretty hard. Wow, that's incredible. It's Look amazing that. in there. There she is, there's the queen. You can always tell because they started dive bombing. And all of her brood. Okay, this is the last frame. 
We found some brood in the other two frames. Ooh. How's that looking? It's yeah, like just, it's just built on the uh, box itself. Yeah, that's the burr. But they also have a nice frame built. What we got here? We got any capped ones here? Oh, wow. Some pollen, lots of pollen right there. Lots yeah. of pollen in this frame, wow. No wow, brood. Like completely full. They got it all the way connected on the bottom. Oh, wow. Oh, nice, look at that. Yeah, this one's like- They built it really nice. Built, basically. Wow. Cool, exciting. All right, time to clean this burr off. Yeah. One of my biggest things that I've learned uh, when installing a package, um, when I initially started out, I you know watched tons of different videos and all these things, and you know some people suggested just leaving the package in there and not dumping them out because it could disturb them, make them uncomfortable, make them think that it's not a safe place. And I went along with that idea, and I left the and I've installed by leaving the package in a couple different two different times I think, and then I've also dumped them out as well. And I just feel that the dumping of them out wasn't really a a violent process for them. I didn't really, they didn't really get agitated. They didn't get harmed by it. Um, and I actually feel that it's actually safer for the bees because when they've stayed in that package, uh, if they're staying in that package for like 24 hours or 40 hours, some of them are going to die because they're not going to have access to the sugar syrup. For whatever reason, they're just hanging out in that box and never coming out. So, you know, eventually my bees did come out, but I bet you there was a lot, well, there was a lot of dead bees in the bottom of that package, which is normal when you're installing a package. There's always older bees that, you know, die out real quick. But I'm wondering if, my theory is that when you dump the bees out, I think more will survive than if you were to just leave the package in. Also, if you're doing foundationless, um, they can start building comb in random places where you wouldn't want them to. You may have noticed I only had, I think, three frames in there, which isn't ideal. It's much better um, to, have all the frames in there at once so that when they start making the comb um, they're not making mistakes that they'll have to redo you know I took the box out. I can't remember if I took it out after 24 or 48 hours but within that time they you know had only just started a tiny bit of comb on a couple frames so I think if you take it out within 48 hours they're not really gonna build that much bad comb anyway so if you are thinking about installing by just leaving the package in there it's not a big deal. It, it does work doing it like that. I just feel now that now that I've done it a couple of different ways that I don't have a problem with dumping out the package of bees. I don't really see a negative effect from it. Uh, I will say this though, that some beekeepers will, uh, before they dump them out and after they dump them out, they'll blast them with a bunch of sugar water. I'm against, I was against that before my experiences and I'm still against doing that. I don't I, the reasoning behind it is it gets their wings wet, they won't fly away, they get sugar all over them so they can like eat it off of them, they'll be in the box. I, but I think that's I think that's probably more detrimental to them than, than helpful to the process. I feel like that's that would irritate them and get them thinking like, oh, what the heck is going on here and I don't like this place. That would cause them to think that more so than just being dumped out into the, the hive. So. That's kind of my thoughts on it, and you know, like I said, I'm a beginning beekeeper. Uh, I've only had one full season of beekeeping, and um, man, there's a lot of opinions on beekeeping. It's unbelievable. So, um, just do lots of reading and research, and um, figure out what I guess makes the most sense to you. But obviously, listen to experience, and I think the the most important people to listen to would probably be your local beekeepers, because they know your micro microclimate. You know, they run a business selling honey and creating queens or whatever they're doing that if they're successful at it, then they're going to have, you know, some of the best practices probably in your area. Um, and yeah, that guys, that's about it. I hope to do some more updates on bees in the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the bee video and you know, bees are amazing, incredible. Um, I'd recommend it to anyone who's interested in it. You know, at least go take a beekeeping class with a local beekeeper and you'll just have an amazing time and experience it. Just, you know, being around a bunch of insects is unlike anything else I, I've experienced in the animal world. And, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's fantastic. So, um, definitely recommend it, guys. So, cool. Have a great rest of your day. Happy gardening and farming and beekeeping. And I'll see you guys in the next video.